The Maelstrom is a grain table synthesizer that uses two synthesis methods, granular and wavetable. With granular synthesis, sound is generated with very short, continuously looping segments or grains of sound, which usually lasts between 5 to 100 milliseconds long. With wavetable synthesis, an oscillator plays back a single period or cycle of a sampled waveform. The oscillator's waveform can consist of more than one waveform cycles, giving it the name a wavetable. Which you can typically scan through to choose one of the single cycles within the wavetable. So one wavetable can have multiple wave shapes or sounds within itself. The main features of the Maelstrom include 16 voices of polyphony, two identical oscillators, two modulators or LFOs, two filters and a wave shaper, three envelopes, two amp envelopes per oscillator and one filter envelope, plus multiple routing capabilities on the back of the device. To select a waveform, click on the up or down arrows beside the waveform window or click on the window to view the list of selectable waveforms. For this video, we shall use Tampura. You will notice how this sampled waveform starts the same on every key press. You can change the start position by adjusting the index slider. You can adjust the speeds that the waveform plays at by adjusting the motion parameter. Move it right to speed it up or left to slow it down. If you turn it all the way left, it will stop completely and play the selected index position of that waveform. The shift parameter alters the timbre of the sound by shifting the pitch up or down by resampling itself. This behaves differently to simply changing the pitch parameters such as octave, semi and cent. Turning it to the left lowers the pitch and turning it to the right raises the pitch. These three parameters can be modulated using mod A and mod B. The modulators can be switched on by clicking the yellow box. Mod A can modulate the index and shift parameters, while mod B can modulate the motion parameters. The selector switch can be set to modulate just oscillator A, both or just oscillator B. Both modulators can modulate other parameters such as amp, filter and pitch and mod B can even be set to modulate mod A. The one shot button will trigger the modulator's waveform once instead of looping. To select a modulating waveform, you can press the up and down arrows or click and hold the left mouse button while scrolling up and down. Here's a quick demonstration of mod A modulating the pitch of oscillator A, and I will cycle through some of the modulator's waveforms while playing the mouse drum. To adjust the speed, move the rate parameter. The sync button will synchronize the modulator's rate with the current song's BPM using one of 16 time divisions. The two oscillators can be routed to the two filters in several ways. To use oscillator A with filter A, 
click the yellow box beside the oscillator's volume to route it to filter A. Click filter A's yellow box to turn on filter A. To use oscillator A with filter B, click the top yellow box beside oscillator B's volume control and click filter B's yellow box to turn it on. To use oscillator B with filter A, click the bottom yellow box beside oscillator B's volume control. Click the yellow box in the little arrow that points from filter B to shaper, then click filter A's yellow box. Clicking on the box between filter B and shaper does not turn the shaper on. The signal simply passes through it to filter A. To use oscillator B with filter B, again click the bottom yellow box beside oscillator B's volume control, then click filter B's yellow box. You can set the signal path so that oscillator A and B have their own filters, or oscillator A and B share one filter, or oscillator A and B routed to filter B, then routed to filter A. The shaper section alters the signal's wave shape to create rich, complex sounds. To activate it, click its yellow box. The shaper is in between the signal flow for filter A and filter B. So to send oscillator A to the shaper, click the box beside oscillator A's volume control. To send oscillator B to the shaper, click the bottom box beside oscillator B's volume control and also the box in the arrow in between filter B and shaper. If you want, you can still use both filters simply by clicking on their corresponding box. If you are using both oscillators but only want one oscillator to be sent to the shaper, then do the following. To use oscillator 1, click the box beside its volume control. To use oscillator 2, click the bottom box beside its volume control and click the box on the arrow between filter B and shaper. If you are using filter B and the shaper, filter B signal will be processed by the shaper. When using filter A on the other hand, the signal is processed through the shaper first, then it's sent to filter A. The envelopes for both oscillators are always active. The filter envelope controls both filters. To use the filter envelope, move the amount parameter so it is not set at zero. When it's set to zero, the filter envelope is not in use. The higher the amount value is, the more dramatic and stronger the envelope will affect the filters. The invert button inverts or flips the envelope settings upside down. You can adjust the pitch and tuning of both oscillators. Move the octave parameter left to go down in steps of one octave or move right to go up in steps of one octave. You can go up or down 4 octaves in total. The semi-parameter goes up in semitones to a maximum of 12 semitones. The sent parameter can find detune up going right or down going left to a maximum of 50 cent. <laughs> 